Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. The title of our today's video is How to send Go High Level Contact to another application using API by Pabli. So I am running a business and I am using Go High Level as my CRM. And I wish that as soon as a new contact is added in my Go High Level, automatically the details of that contact should be sent to another application using API by Pabli. So we are using API by Pabli right over here because we want to create an integration between Go High Level and another application which is not natively integrated with Pabli Connect. So for this we are going to create a connection between Go High Level and API by Pabli. To create this connection without knowing any programming or coding language, we are going to use Pabli Connect. It is an amazing automation software. So in Pabli we have the concept of trigger in action. For trigger we are going to use go high level and for action we are using API by Pabli. So if you also wish to learn this process step by step, follow me through the screen. Welcome to my screen. So as you know in this video we are going to learn how to send go high level contact to another application using API by Pabli. So to do this I have already opened the landing page of Pabli and you can also open it just by searching pabli.com slash connect in your browser. It is so easy. So as soon as you'll open the landing page of Pabli, you will get two options. One is sign in and the another one is sign up for free. So if you are a new user, you can click on sign up for free and you'll get 100 of tasks free every month. But I'm an existing user, so I'm going to click on sign in. And now it is opening all Pabli apps. Over here, you can see all the tools and applications offered by Pabli. But in today's video, we are going to use Pabli Connect because we are connecting to applications. And now we are going to click on Access Now. And now it is opening my dashboard. And to start with the automation, we are going to click on this button right over here, which says Create Workflow. And now it is asking me the workflow name and the folder I want to save the workflow in. So I want to save the workflow in this folder which says automations and I want to name my workflow as how to send go high level contacts to another application using API by Pabli. And now we are going to click on create. And now it is opening the most important window of our automation that is our workflow window. This is the most important window because we have trigger and action in this. Trigger means when this happens and action means do this. By this you can understand that the trigger is the commander for the workflow and actions follow the command. And as you know that we can have only a single commander but multiple followers. So over here we can have only a single trigger but multiple actions following the commands of our trigger. So now we are going to select our trigger application which is go high level. But to select go high level we have to search for lead connector. So over here you can see lead connector v1 and lead connector v2. You can select any one of these. I'm going to select lead connector v1. I selected lead connector v1 because I wanted to connect my go high level account with my Pabli's workflow. And to connect that we have to select the application as lead connector. And now for the trigger event, I am going to select form submitted because I want that as soon as a new form is submitted in my go high level account, automatically that contact should be created in another application also. So now it is giving me a webhook URL. So we are going to use this URL to connect our go high level account with our Pabli's workflow. So I'm going to copy this URL right from here. And then we are going to open our go high level account. And as you can see that I've already logged in my Go High Level account. So it is advised to always log in your applications before starting with the automation. So as soon as I'll open the Go High Level account, I'm going to go on automations. And then we are going to click on create workflow right from here. And then we are going to click on start from scratch and then continue. And then we are going to give our workflow a name which is test. So after giving the name, I'm going to enter the trigger. So we'll click on create new trigger right over here. And we are going to select the same trigger we selected in our Pabli's workflow. So it is form submitted. So I'm going to search for form submitted right over here. And over here you can see form submitted. So I'm going to select this. And now it is automatically providing me the trigger name. So if you wish, you can change it from here. But I don't want to change it. So I'm going to click on save trigger directly. And then we are going to click on this plus button right over here to add an action which would be webhook. So I'm going to search for webhook and then select webhook. And now it is asking me the action name. So it is webhook and for the method it would be post and then it is asking me for the URL. So we are going to paste the same URL we copied from our Pabli's workflow. 
after pasting this URL, I'm going to click on save action. And yes, you can see that we have successfully created this workflow. So we are going to publish this workflow first and then click on save. And yes, you can see your workflow has been saved. So we are going to open our form and then we are going to do a test submission. So for the first name, I'm going to enter demo for the last name. It is user and for the email dummy at the rate pavlitudes.com phone number as this. And then I'm going to click on I agree and then submit. And yes, you can see that it is saying thank you for taking the time to complete this form. This means that we have successfully submitted our form. So let's go back to our workflow and check that if Pabli has captured the details of the form or not. And yes, you can see that Pabli has captured the response of the form. Here's the first name, last name and the full name. So as you can see, this proves that our trigger step is successful. And now we are moving on to our action step. And now for our action application, we are going to select API by Pabli and for the action event, we are going to select execute API request and then we are going to click on connect. And as you can see that it is asking me the action event method, API endpoint URL, payload type, authentication and another details. So before starting with this, I'm going to let you know that I am using MailerLite as my example application. You can use any another application which is not natively integrated with Pabli Connect. So for the example, we are going to use MailerLite right over here. So for the action event method, I'm going to select post because I want to post the data. So for the API endpoint URL, we are going to open developers.maillite.com and over here we are going to go on subscribers and then create subscribers and over here you can see post and over here you can see the URL that we want. So I'm going to copy this URL and paste it in my workflow as the API endpoint URL and then for the payload type, I'm going to keep it as JSON only. And then for the authentication, it is asking me for basic authentication, bearer token or no authentication. So for this, we are again going to our developers.mailerlite and then we are going to go on getting started. We'll scroll a little and over here you can see authorization bearer. So we are going to go back to our workflow and select bearer token right over here. And now it is asking me to enter the bearer token. So for this, we are going to open our mailerlite and then we are going to go on integrations. And as you can see over here is MailerLite API. So I'm going to click on use. And then we are going to generate a new token. I'll give the token name as test token. Agree with the terms and conditions and click on create token. As you can see that this is my token. So I'm going to copy this token and paste it in my workflow. And as you can see that I've pasted my token. And now we are moving on for the add headers and set parameters. So for this, we are again going to developers.mailerlite and then again to subscribers and then create subscriber. And over here, you can see the parameters. So we can select the parameters from this. So I'm going to select it as email. So I'll copy email right from here and then go back to my workflow. Select set parameters for the labels. I'm going to paste email and for the value, we are going to map this value. Mapping means inserting the data from the previous step. And as you know, our previous step was the trigger step where we selected go high level as our trigger application. So we are going to map the details from the response of our trigger application only. I am mapping these details because I want these details to turn dynamic and should change with every new form submitted. So I'm going to open the response right from here. So I'm going to search for email and select this dummy at the rate pavlitudes.com and then we are going to click on add right over here. We are going to add another label. So again, we are going to mail light developers and we are going to add status. So I'm going to select status, copy it, go to my workflow and paste. And over here you can see status can be one of the following active, unsubscribed, unconfirmed or bounced or junk. So I'm going to select it as active. So I'm going to copy active and paste it in my workflow. So after doing this, I'm going to click on save and send test request. But before clicking on save and send test request, I'll just again remind you that I'm using MailerLite as an example application. You can use any another application which is not natively integrated with Pabli Connect. So now I'm going to click on save and send test request.
And yes, you can see that we have received a positive response that our data has been added to MailerLite too. I'm going to open my MailerLite. Open subscribers. And over here, you can see dummy at the rate pablitudes.com. This means that our workflow is successful. So I'll just test the workflow for you once. And this time I'm going to give you a real time example. So we are going to open our lead form, refresh the page. And then we are going to do another submission. First name as test, last name as user only, email as test at the rate pablitudes.com. And the phone number as this. After filling in all the details, I'm going to agree with the terms and conditions and click on submit. And yes, you can see thank you for taking time to complete this form. This means that we have again successfully submitted our form. So now we are not going back to our workflow and clicking on save and send test request. We'll directly open our MailerLite account and check that if a new subscriber is created with the email we added or not. So we are going to open our MailerLite directly. We are going to refresh the subscribers page. And yes, you can see test at the rate pablitudes.com has been created as a subscriber in our MailerLite 2. This means that my workflow and my automation is successful. So I'll just summarize it for you once. So for the trigger application, I selected Lead Connector V1 because I wanted to connect my Go High Level account with my Pabli's workflow. And then for the trigger event, I selected Form Submitted because I wish that as soon as a new form is submitted, automatically this workflow should be triggered. And then we moved on to our action step. For our action application, I selected API by Pabli. And for the action event, I selected Execute API Request. Then we created the API setup and clicked on save and send test request. And over here you can see the two subscribers we created during this video. So I used MailerLite as my example application. You can use any another application which is not natively integrated with Pabli Connect. So if you have any doubts or queries related to this video or the workflow, you can directly comment on this video. And for your reference, I'll just clone the workflow and share the workflow link in the description box. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but with the help of Pabli, you can integrate many more applications. So now, if you have any doubts, you can reach us at support at the readpabli.com. If you have any queries, you can reach us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issues, you can follow this website. And if you find our videos helpful, do like and subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching.